I'm Kristen Milligan. I'm from North Carolina, Pisgah Forest, North Carolina, and I'm married to Derek, and we have three children, Ashley, who's 13, and Luke, who's 11, and Rebecca, who's nine. We felt led to start Inheritance of Hope. Once we started to deal with my illness, when I was diagnosed with terminal liver cancer, um, and we started going through surgeries and chemotherapies and radiation and those sorts of things, we realized quickly that it wasn't just me who was um, dealing with this diagnosis. It was our entire family. We wanted to start something that would um, serve as many needs as possible. So Inheritance of Hope serves through um, literature that's specific to these needs, through college scholarships, um, through a counselor that we have on staff that helps with the children, and through tools that help these families navigate this time. But the signature offering are the legacy retreats, where we bring uh, many families together who share understanding about what they're going through, um, so they don't feel so alone. The American Cancer Society estimates that about 700,000 children every year find themselves in this situation with a parent with life-threatening cancer. And that's just one illness. Inheritance of Hope serves all um, life-threatening illnesses for parents of young children. My children, in particular, have struggled in very different ways. Our oldest daughter um, didn't like to talk about the cancer to anybody, not to other adults or other children. She felt very much alone, like she was the only little girl who had a mother who was sick and who might die. So to come on a legacy retreat and meet all these other children who understand what she's going through, um, that is really a big gift to her, to have that community that, that understands her and makes her feel not alone. Our middle child, our son Luke, was old enough really to understand what was going on but not sure how to express himself. But coming to Inheritance of Hope and participating in the children's time, the counseling with the counselors and with other children, working on how best to understand and express those feelings, um, changed him dramatically, which was such a big gift for him. Our little one, Rebecca, um, grew up with this. And for her, my concern was always that we would have no memories together, that she wouldn't remember me. So to come on a legacy retreat um, and have, have all that time that's set aside just for fun, for the family to have fun together, to, to um, you know, put away the doctors and the, the bills and the worries for the future, and to just enjoy each other um, is really a gift, particularly, I think, for those little ones, but, but the whole family, to have that time together um, and the pictures and, and the memories. Certainly for Derek, it's blessed him to meet other husbands, other caregivers whose spouse is sick and who understand the struggle that's on his shoulders. Um, the world cares for me and looks out for me, um, but I think they so often forget about the caregiver who's really dealing with so much. Um, so that's been a blessing to him. And it's also been a blessing for me to meet other parents who are, who are worried for their families too. Um, and to encourage each other and to share tools and share ideas, things that have worked, um, has really been a blessing to me. But the biggest blessing to me has been seeing my family being taken care of, to see my family more prepared and being able to be intentional about the legacy that I leave for them. When Inheritance of Hope started, it was Derek and I and a few other people who loved us and were helping because they cared for us. And it's changed over the years where there are so many people on the team that are here not because of us, but because they share in our vision, um, which is a huge gift to us, that I know that if I'm gone, that doesn't mean this stops. And then Inheritance of Hope will continue to serve these families and to love these families. That's huge. And selfishly, I do consider that part of my legacy, which makes me proud. Thousands of children and families need hope, and they don't have much time. They need you to help build their legacy and secure their inheritance of hope. Will you donate today?